Okay, um, I wanted to show you guys how to uh, use a program that I found is very useful. Uh, if you're going to compare more than one stock, maybe look at a portfolio, uh, and you don't want to have to go to Yahoo Finance and download each of the stocks individually. Uh, you can download them multiple at once. Uh, so I'm going to show you where to, this is, a, this, this, uh, there's an Excel, there's a, there's a website called Invest Excel. And that's where this, this, uh, this Excel file is located. And, uh, the, the, the file we're going to look for, you want to type in multiple stock quote download. And you're going to look for this one. It's in the Invest and Sell uh, .net website. And it came up with the first one for my. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is a, this is a file. We have to download it. And it's written by the, the gentleman's name is uh, Samir. I believe his last name is Khan, K H A N. And it's a pretty good file. So we're going to go down here. Scroll down, down, down until you see this link here, get Excel, Excel spreadsheet, and go ahead and click on that. And it's going to download a zip file for you. You can open the zip file. And once you get the zip file open, double click on it. And it's going to say it has macros. You need to enable the macro. It's not going to work. And then you're going to have... Um, uh, the file that we're looking, we're looking at trying to use here. So, uh, so what we can do is here, here's some Samir's website and information. If you want, you know, thank you, I thank him for for making this spreadsheet. It's very, very useful. Um, so, okay, sorry about that. The screen paused on me. Um, so, if you want to download two stocks, let's say we wanted to download. Uh, uh, I don't know, we'll say uh, Verizon and IBM. So we just want those two stocks. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all these and clear them. And let's say I want them in monthly frequency. I would go here and I delete this and put M for month. Now this is a little bit finicky. If you put capital M, it's not going to work. And then here we want it for today. So I just type it equals today with parentheses. And I'll put today's dates in. So today is a 22nd of February, the day I'm recording the video. And for the start day, he did minus 30 days. Maybe you want to do, uh, if you're doing monthly, maybe you want to do uh, uh, more than 30 days. Maybe you would do uh, 365 days uh, times uh, five years, maybe, if we're doing monthly. So it really depends on the frequency. And then hit enter. So that's going to go back. Uh, five years right and then all you have to do is you simply hit get bulk quotes and this this what this does it goes out to yahoo finance and it downloads all this information for us and it says here successful for verizon and ibm so you need to know the, the ticker right um, if you don't know the ticker you can always go to you can go to yahoo finance if you go out here to uh, finance.yahoo.com that's one place you can find tickers like you could type in, uh, give it a second to get there. So you could type in IBM. And if you type in IBM, internet's kind of slow today, sorry about that. So I type in IBM, it shows you the, that's the ticker symbol in, in parentheses. Or I type in Verizon. It shows the ticker right there. Or I could type in, S and P 500. Again, it shows you the ticker right there. So that's how you do this. So you download it. And then we can do, you can go look. Here's Verizon. And it shows us monthly data um, all the way from, from this month all the way five years back. It gives you the open, the high, the low, the full, even the volume and the adjusted quote. You can go along here and it summarizes them. It gives you a summary spreadsheet. 
So if you go in here and here's the adjusted goals, it actually has them summarized for you already. So this is a very useful spreadsheet. Uh, you know, I, I like to use this in, when I'm doing portfolio analysis or if I want to calculate data myself or something. So I don't have to go to the, uh, I don't have to go here and I don't have to download the data for each one of these and uh, and then take them each and copy them into another spreadsheet. This does it all automatically for me. So hopefully that helps. This is, by the way, this is a really good website too, investexcel.net. The link is on here. It has a lot of really good um, Excel programs and macros that you can use uh, that pertain to finance. And uh, I've, I've seen this site and it's getting, it keeps, they keep adding stuff, it keeps improving. Uh, very useful. I remember someone wrote this, right? So it's a little finicky. Like you can't use a capital M here. You have to use small M instead of, so it'll give you errors. So you might have to mess around with it if you don't get it to work at first, but it's still very useful. So hopefully you like this video and it's helpful to you. See you next time. Bye.